So today, Andrew Scheer will return to the House, this time as leader of the Conservative Party after pulling off a surprising win. And the next leader of the Conservative Party of Canada with 51% of the vote. The prochain chef, the next Andrew leader. Scheer. Well, there you have it. Scheer defeating 12 other rivals, including former Harper cabinet ministers Aaron O'Toole, Kelly Leach, Lisa Ray, Chris Alexander, Stephen Blaney. It was a disappointing night for frontrunner Maxi Bernier, who had been in the lead. He's the guy we we're all talking about, right? Joining me now with a full breakdown is the host of CTV's Question Period, Evan Solomon. Good to see you this morning. Great to see you. What a wild convention that was. Yeah, it was, it was really wild and surprising for a lot of people. So how did Sheer pull this thing off? Well, it was the sheer shocker, and you saw the picture there, sort of Mad Max becomes Sad Max. Sheer had, the two of them were really the front runners, Linz, and so Maxime Bernier was always the guy that people were going to chase. He had the endorsement of Kevin O'Leary, and ballot after ballot, as these things rolled out, it was always going to be Maxime Bernier's to lose. But we were all looking for two things. On the first ballot, did he have more than 30 or 32 percent on the first ballot? If he did, that would give him a lot of momentum going forward. And then we were looking for something called the spread, the distance between Bernier first and likely Andrew Scheer second. And if it was, you know, between five and eight points, it was a pretty close race. And it was six points on the first ballot. And all of a sudden, people were thinking, Wait a second, Maxine Bernier has not got this locked up. Andrew Shear's got a real path to victory. And as the 13th ballot came and things broke, two factors happened. One, the big Kevin O'Leary endorsement didn't really help him at all. And two, social conservatives like Brad Trost did so well and those voters broke towards the openly Catholic, the social conservative, uh, Andrew Scheer, and as soon as we saw that happening, the path to victory opened up, and it was a crushing defeat for Bernier, and Andrew Scheer becomes the new leader. So it was a really fascinating... People thought it was going to be boring. I mean, it was like the Stanley <laughs> Cup Finals. It was unbelievable. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, a lot of people uh, asking, Andrew, who? What is this guy's background? We do know a couple of things about him. He's socially conservative, as you mentioned. He was the Speaker of the House. He was first elected when he was only 25 years old. He, what, he just turned, what, 38 years old? What else do we know about him? Yeah, he just turned 38. I mean, he's seven years younger than Justin Trudeau. He was, as you said, he's elected at the age of 25. Uh, he was actually raised, born here in Ottawa, but met his wife. They moved to Regina, Saskatchewan. He worked as, in an insurance company. He's got five kids. He was the Speaker of the House. Now, the youngest Speaker of the House ever at the age of 32, but being the Speaker of the House, it's not like anybody would recognize him because he's a Speaker of the House. In Ottawa, it's an important job. It's not a popular job. No, very few people could name who's the Speaker of the House. But it shows that he's a consensus guy. It also shows he's fully bilingual. So he's able to get along with people. I mean, this guy has a smile, Lindsay. Even when he frowns, he smiles. <laughs> I ask people, have you ever seen this guy not smile? No. So for people that are looking to continue the Harper legacy, but just change the tone. That's what Andrew Scheer is. He is Stephen Harper with cherry cheeks and a smile, but his voting record, as the Liberals and the NDP love to point out, very much adheres to a socially conservative agenda. Yeah, and I want to ask you about that, because obviously the, ND, uh, the NDP and the Liberals have come out swinging already and talking about uh, his views on abortion and same-sex marriage. Uh, where does he stand on that? Well, first of all, to be fair, the Liberals had a grab bag of data and all sorts of things prepared for Maxime Bernier. They were giving out things on his policies on cheese. They were really ready for Bernier. They were scrambling because, like, whoa, Andrew Scheer. And he's a tougher guy to get a read on. It's true that he has a voting record that is socially conservative. And they're going to try to present him as that because of how he's voted on issues like same-sex marriage and his views on controversial issues like abortion. And Brad Trost, the most socially conservative candidate, came in fourth place. But much like Stephen Harper, his mentor, Andrew Scheer has said, look, those are issues that are important to me, but I will not raise those as leader. And I've asked him those questions. Are these going to be front burner issues for you? And they may come up more. But look, 
He does not want that to define the party. He knows it. He's going to follow the Stephen Harper path on that stuff and basically say, you're free to follow your uh, hearts on that stuff, but I don't want to make those front burner issues. The problem now, though, is that Brad Trost has a lot more influence on that party than he did with Stephen Harper. With Stephen Harper, he was like, where are you? Oh, you're in the back benches. Nice to see you. Don't say anything. Here's a little muzzle. We'll put it over you. Stop talking. Mm -hmm. Now they're very powerful, and I think Sheer will have a more difficult time putting a muzzle on social conservatives. And, you know, looking forward, how is he going to take on Trudeau? Well, he is very much going to follow and adhere to that Stephen Harper policy, which is, deficits you're going to see. I think today you're going to see him asking questions. I mean, Trudeau won't be there, but asking questions about the deficit, asking questions about um, things like government spending, Justin Trudeau's vacations. It will be very much uh, the baton handing off Stephen Harper, Ronna Ambrose, and now uh, Andrew Scheer. Again, this for conservatives is probably the easiest transition. Because if you look at this race, Lindsay, in four chapters, chapter one, it was Kelly Leach and immigration values, very divisive, gone. Chapter two, Kevin O'Leary, business guy, outgoing, but didn't really belong in the party, he's gone, very divisive guy. Chapter three, Maxine Bernier, very libertarian, you know, canceling supply management, canceling equalization payments to the provinces, very tough to sell across the country. And then you got chapter four, Andrew Scheer. He basically is a conservative that conservatives will recognize. Small government, low tax, big on defense, basically Stephen Harper with cherry cheeks.